My name is Jennifer Bruckner Collins, and I'm a professor of anatomical sciences and neurobiology at the University of Louisville School of Medicine. I also have the privilege to serve as one of the editors of Netter's Human Anatomy Atlas. One of my favorite images in the Netter's Anatomy Atlas appears in the sixth edition, and it is demonstrated here. It was created by Dr. Carlos Machado, and it shows a very unique and instructive view of an area in the deep face that we call the pterygopalatine fossa. What makes this image unique is that it demonstrates the pterygopalatine fossa from an anterior view or perspective, with much of the maxilla removed to show its neurovascular contents. One of the beautiful things about this plate is that it demonstrates the many unique and beautiful relationships between the pterygopalatine fossa and neighboring areas, including the orbit, the nasal cavity, the maxillary sinus, and the heart palate. On the left side of the plate, you can see the various branches of the maxillary artery depicted beautifully. On the right, you can see the very complex course of the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve skillfully depicted. You can see V2, the maxillary division, entering into the pterygopalatine fossa through foramen rotundum, and how it suspends the parasympathetic pterygopalatine ganglion by way of ganglionic branches. V2 gives off a number of branches, including the zygomatic nerve, which divides into a zygomaticofacial and zygomaticotemporal branch. You can even see the communicating branch that unites the zygomaticotemporal and the lacrimal nerves. As V2 courses anteriorly, it becomes the infraorbital nerve giving rise to the anterior superior and middle superior alveolar nerves, which combine to form the superior dental plexus that supplies the maxillary arch. This arch is also contributed by the posterior superior alveolar nerve as well. V2 gives off branches that contribute to innervation of the nasal cavity including posterior lateral nasal branches that supply the nasal side wall, as well as the nasopalatine nerve that supplies the nasal septum and the hard palate. The hard and soft palates are supplied respectively by additional branches of V2, the greater palatine nerve and the lesser palatine nerve. This new plate of art is remarkable in that it will, provides a very clear view of a clinically important region, the pterygopalatine fossa, an area that's important not only for physicians, but for dentists as well. A solid understanding of the neural and vascular anatomy of the pterygopalatine fossa is clinically important for both physicians and dentists alike. This new plate will elucidate this mysterious anatomical region for both students and clinicians.